Norman Soberdick, 17 Tide Mill Road for uh, Rational Taxpayers of Hampton. This will be the last time I'm approaching the board on uh, the subject of encumbrances. I'd like to speak to the comments made by Attorney uh, Gerald last Monday. And I have written them down and I will give them to you at the end of my short presentation. <coughs> Uh, Section 718-3A of the purchasing policy states that all purchases, supplies, materials, and services, including professional services, the cost of which is estimated to exceed 15000 shall be allowed only after competitive sealed bids or sealed written professional proposals have been solicited. Section 718-3C includes the language, if the purchase does not comply with the purchasing policy, it requires a waiver voted by the Board of Selectmen before action can be taken by a department to purchase. 718.3c was an amendment introduced in 2013 by Selectman Bean in reaction to past problems. The town attorney said last week, I believe it was implicit in the vote that was taken on 12-21-15 to approve encumbrances that this policy was waived and was not going to be required to be followed to implement these encumbrances. The motion that was approved at 12-21-15 that the town attorney was referencing to is Selectman Bean motion to take $444,500 in the budget for the purchase of the above mentioned equipment, seconded by Selectman Bridal, vote 500. The only reference to the purchasing policy in the entire discussion of the $444,500 Encumbrance was the town manager commenting they would have to sign the POs by December 31. It is worth noting that immediately preceding the 12-21-15 discussion of the encumbrances, there was a legitimate purchasing policy waiver approved by for an unrelated purchase of a scarify with the following motion. Selectman bridal motion to approve the purchasing policy waiver section 718-4B for Bid 2015-011, Scarify is seconded by Selectman Woolsey, vote 500. The point is that town officials know what they need to do to construct a proper purchasing policy waiver. Motion. Uh, since when does the Board of Selectmen do business on an implicit in the vote manner? The town attorney also stated there is no state law that requires competitive bidding. That arises only if the board or a town charter authorizes that. While we agree that there is no explicit language in the statute, there is in fact case law that addresses the subject, specifically Girard Construction versus City of Manchester. In its, in its declaratory judgment for this case, the New Hampshire Supreme Court stated, municipalities like private parties generally are free to contract without the requirement of advertisement and competitive bidding. Where such provisions are enforced, however, strict compliance with the municipal scheme, the purchasing policy is required. The court goes on to state, we are buttressed in review by an analysis of the purpose of requiring competitive bidding. These procedures serve to invite competition, guard against favoritism, improvidence, extravagance, fraud, and corruption, and secure the best work or supplies at the lowest price practical. To the police department video encumbrance, the chief stated on January 25th, 2016, that he had not even started looking into that requirement, stated he didn't know how many cameras he needed, there was no spec of what the vendor was going to provide in a 91A information review. To RSA 32-7, how can it be a legally for enforceable obligation if there's no definition of, the wind of what the vendor is to provide in return for 110,000 in purchase order? There was no signature on the purchase order. To the fire department phone system, December encumbrances. The town attorney stated last week the replacement of the fire telephone system acceptance was in fact not communi communicated. That being the case, why is, two, uh, is 2015 PO 15-446 for a $27,000 fire department phone system contained on the January 23rd 2016 purchase order list attached to the 215 final pass expense statement. It was not a legal encumbrance. Of greater concern is why the 27,000 encumbrance for the phone system is still included in the fire department communications replacement equipment encumbrance line item in the April 2016 expenditure report. 
The April report was distributed to the selectmen less than two weeks ago. It appeared to us that the town attorney's intent last week was to defend the actions of the town manager, finance director, and board of selectmen related to the 444,000 and covered on December 25th. While we understand and accept that the town attorney may receive direction from the board of selectmen, we believe his clients are ultimately the citizens of the town of Hampton. In our opinion, the presentation by the town attorney last week was designated, was designed to put the town officials in a positive light and mislead the public. An objective legal opinion looking out for the interests of citizens of Hampton would have been more appropriate. Before embarking on a course of, change, of making changes to, uh, that would weaken or reduce the benefits of the taxpayers from the purchasing policy by increasing the dollar threshold or reducing the required number of bidders, wouldn't it make more sense to conduct an investigation analysis to get to the bottom of why Hampton is having so much trouble getting three qualified bidders on projects exceeding $15,000? This is all, um, thus far all we heard is this off-the-cuff opinions of the town manager and some of the selectmen. One final note, every time I come here and make a presentation, Phil Bean gets up, walks out of the room, and I think it's classless and absolutely rude. I would show him the respect if he was engaged in any business that I was conducting, and I think it's no way to treat a citizen, and it's just, just appalling to me. I have a copy of this to you, for you. If we go to court, and we had that option, either the Superior Court or DRA, we, did, we would believe we'd prevail, but it would be a hollow victory because all we meet would create would be the reversal of these transactions and they would then be put into this year's operating budget to be funded. It's not the specific items that we're concerned about. It's the process and the system of the purchasing policy. And as stewards of the town's resources, you, you have to challenge the process and make sure it's being followed properly. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I wish you a great Memorial Day weekend. Anybody else would like to speak?